Hello friends. This is second part of CSV file column mapping tutorial with PHP script using Ajax jQuery and in this part we will write PHP script for fetch data from CSV file and store CSV file data into session variable and then after convert CSV file data into HTML table with import button and send back to Ajax request which will be display on web page for these things first we have go to upload.php file and here in this file first we have write session start function this function will start session variable on web page below this function First we have defined two variable like dollar error variable value is not equal to blank and dollar html variable value is not equal to blank. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar files file name variable value is not equal to blank. Suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to text message like please select file. This error will be displayed to user on web page. But suppose this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar file array variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument, we have write zero, and in second argument, we have write dollar files file name variable. It will convert file name into array. Below this. We have write dollar extension variable is equal to end function and under this function we have write dollar file array variable. This function will return last index form array which will be extension of selected file. After getting selected file extension now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar extension is equal to csv suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to text like only dot csv file allowed But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar file data variable is equal to file open function with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar files file temporary file name variable, and in second option, we have write r. This code will read the content of selected file. For skip first column title line, here we have write dollar file header variable is equal to file get csv function and under this we have dollar file data variable. This code will get the content of first line in array format. Now we have write dollar html variable and in this variable we have append html code like table class is equal to table and table bordered class and after this we have write table row open tag for make select box for all table column here we have write for loop and under condition we have write dollar count variable is equal to zero.
dollar count variable value is less than the value of count function and under this function we have write dollar file header and lastly we have write dollar count variable value increment by 1 under this loop we have write dollar html variable and in this variable we have append html code like open and close table header tag between this we have write select tag with name is equal to set column data class is equal to form control and set column data this set column data class we will use in jQuery code after this we have write data column number attribute is equal to dollar count variable value from this attribute we can get the column number in jQuery code in this tag we have write option value is equal to blank value and option text we have write set column data in second option tag we have write value is equal to first name and in option text we have write first name in third option tag we have write value is equal to last name and in option text we have write last name in fourth option tag we have write value is equal to email and in option text we have write email so here we have defined three option in select box now after this for loop we have write again write dollar html variable and in this variable we have append close table row html code next we have write dollar limit variable is equal to zero now for fetch other line of csv file content here we have write while loop and under condition we have write dollar row variable is equal to file get csv function and under this function we have write dollar file data variable this condition will read one by one each line of csv file until at the end of file under this file first we have increment the dollar limit variable value by one here we want to display only first five line data on web page at the time of column selection. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar limit variable value is less than six. So if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar HTML variable, and in this variable we have append open table row HTML code. After this, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write dollar count variable value is equal to zero. Count variable value is less than the value of count function with dollar row variable and dollar count variable value is increment by one under this loop we have write dollar html variable and in this variable we have append html code like open and close table data tag and between this we have write dollar row dollar count variable this code will print data in each table column after this for loop we have again write dollar html variable and here in this variable 
we have write close table row tag. Here we have create one dollar temporary data variable, and in this variable, we have store each line of data of CSV file by writing dollar row variable in array format. After this while loop, we want to store this dollar temporary data variable data in session variable. For this here, we have write dollar session file data variable is equal to dollar temporary data variable. Below this, we have write dollar HTML variable, and in this variable, we have append this code. And here also, we want to make import button. So here we have write button type is equal to button, name is equal to import, ID is equal to import. Here also, we have write class is equal to bootstrap button and button success class. After this, here we have write disabled. So this button will be disabled and it will be enabled only after user has select three table column from this list of column. So here we have convert CSV file into HTML and store in dollar HTML variable. Now here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In this array first key, we have write error, and in value we have write dollar error variable. And in this array second key, we have write output, and in value, we have write dollar HTML variable. So this way, we have stored data in this dollar output variable. Lastly, we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write JSON encode function, and under this function, we have write dollar output variable. So it will send data to Ajax request in JSON format. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see that when page has been load in browser, then on web page, we can see that one file tag and upload button on web page. First we have directly click on upload button, then on web page. We can see that please select CSV file error message on web page. After this, we have select non-CSV file from computer. And after this, we have click on upload button. Now, we have received error message like only CSV file allowed. So here our validation code is working properly. Now we have select CSV file and click on upload button. After click on upload button, here we can see the CSV file data on web page in HTML table format and at each table column header, we can see select box for define table column. And below this, we can see disabled import button. This button will be enabled only after we have defined three table column. So in this part, we had write PHP script for fetch data from CSV file and store CSV file data into session variable and then after convert CSV file data into HTML table with import button and send back to Ajax request which will be display on web page. Next, we will discuss how to enable import button with validation like user can select only three table column with not selection dot same table column. 
If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also.